guys welcome back to my channel today is going to be a well it's, it's going to be a single price haul which i've done on my channel before it's an online kind of bargain um store i guess where they kind of sell things from other shops like x catalog stuff and things like that um, it was going to be a try on but as you can probably tell i'm still really run down with a cold um so i just don't have the energy to try it on today um i'm gonna put my tea down but i had to have something to drink because i keep having coffee and things so um for anyone worries uh, my daughter and i are having covid tests tomorrow just to make sure that we're all ship shape and okay which i'm sure that we are um it's just obviously procedure so and here's cookie dough again hello cookie dough she's like not bothered with me this morning and then the moment i start setting up the ring light she's like showtime i'll just turn this light up a little bit light's kind of a little pint for my eyes so if it, the video seems a bit dark i just can't really handle it too bright at the moment um yeah so let's get started so single price if you don't know as i said it's a bit like everything five pounds so some of the stuff that you'll get could be from like new look wallace um i've had things from boohoo various other places i once had a pair of versace leggings um which i'll have to show you in another video just seeing i'm not lying and they were from there for like five pounds so i saved me five pounds now this is called single price so you would expect everything to be one price but it's not which is a bit of a, a weird name for a website if you think it's not a single price however everything that i've had in my like in my last haul a lot of it was from wallace and a lot of it still has the tags on so it was like £30 for a shirt, I think, and I got it for like £5. So it's not too bad at all. You do have to pay for shipping, which if you've been here before with my hauls, that bugs the crap out of me. Certain things like paying for shipping, paying for parking, oh, paying for parking, that irritates the crap out of me. Um, even like if you have to pay to return something, it's like if I didn't want your product, shouldn't you pay for me? Like if you've sent me the wrong product, shouldn't you pay for your mistake? All of that gets on my nerves um but yeah so i'm just gonna um get into it there's a little bit of everything including some vegan stuff like some vegan um fashion products which i will show you so none of this is being tried on yet because obviously um it came a few days ago and i was gonna obviously do the try on haul when i was feeling better but uh i just don't and i've looked on site and some are only like a few things left in stock so i figured that if i wait until i'm feeling better because um obviously once i've had my covid test and it comes back negative which i'm pretty positive it will um then i can go and get antibiotics because i have a lung condition so when i get like bombed down it affects like all this side of my chest a lot so obviously till there's a negative test um i'm just relying on like beach and powders and things like that same with my daughter she's just relying on paracetamol she suffers from tonsillitis a lot um i don't know what it's like everywhere else but here in the uk unless you've had it six times within 12 months you can't get your tonsils taken out so obviously to get a scene and stuff we have to make sure that the test comes that she's tested so it comes out as negative so she can get tested so that she can sorry, so she can have an appointment so that the tonsils can like kind of be like logged down and then she can get the right medicine so it's a bit it's a total pain in the ass but i understand the necessity of it it's just annoying um, but as I was, I've rambled on, but I was going to say that obviously if I wait till I feel better and I've got antibiotics, then some of this stuff will be out of stock because it'll be pointless me showing you. So I figured that I would just do it as just a kind of show and tell haul and I hope that's okay. So I basically live in loungewear. These videos are the only things I really get dressed up. This flannel shirt, which is about eight years old, is my version of dressed up. This is my version of making an effort. The fact I've got lipstick on this morning. And I have actually run a brush through my hair, which I hope it looks like I have. And um, that's me making an effort. So I normally live in large wear. So here I've got, and I've got the same one twice, but in different colours. So I'll show you both. So this was £10 for the, for the whole set. So this is just a sweatshirt. I need to be careful with that candle. But this is a sweatshirt. Um, it says Mega Staff on it. I don't know what that means or what it stands for i think it's just i don't even know if it's the name of a brand no it's not the name of the brand i don't know what it means but it looked cute it looked cozy so we're gonna go with it 
So this is just black. It's not super thick, but it is really soft. Um, so I think because it's not too thick, you could obviously wear something underneath this, like a t-shirt or something, um, if it was a bit chilly. But I think this will be fine for the spring. And probably if you want to work out, I mean, this is in like a sporty section, so it's probably not technically lounge, where you could work to work out, you know, if you're going outside and it's a bit chilly, I guess. But so it's just a simple sweatshirt. Now I've got this in a size 10. I am an 8, but I like sweatshirts to be a little oversized. Um, but on the description it did say it was a little oversized, like the model I think was wearing a size 8 and it looked quite big on her. So it is a little oversized but we like the oversized life don't we? Especially this time of year when we've all been eating a lot of food. And then just the buttons that go with it, they are cuffed at the bottom. And then just drawstring waist. And as I said that set was £10 for both so even if it, you know, you're not fan of this part here where you think what the heck is you know if you're into your names you think like what the heck is mega star um it doesn't really matter if you're chilling around the house does it <coughs> um well i'm not gonna lie there are there are different ones we've got ones with mickey mouse on which i think are about 12 pounds and um, they come in nearly everything like this comes in about four or five colors so you've got plenty to choose from um but i chose this one because i have a lot of disney stuff and i thought i actually thought it said mega star I and mean, I thought, oh, that's really cute because like we're all mega stars in our own life, right? But it doesn't. It says mega star, so I suppose it depends how you speak. But it says mega star, um, and then just a pink. This is like a really nice blush pink, and I think the gold on that is really cute. And um, there's no hood on these either because I'm not a fan of hoods. Cause you, you can like never get them to sit down. And you have this bulky bit, and who wears a hood really? So it's a pink, and then again with the uh drawstring sweatpants now i can't tell you how soft these actually are. they feel like you know when you get like those really snuggy blankets from like b&m or john elm they're like like a, they feel like a teddy bear that's what this feels like so really soft and cozy i'll be living in those and then i just got a couple of dresses now i like to have things that you can kind of wear in all weathers um, so even though this is obviously it doesn't look like it's very um, autumn winter so it's just a simple it's kind of like just a simple v-neck like a camisole dress it has got another layer underneath as well so this is slightly like a chiffon and then that underneath so you're like you'll be fine it's not going to be see-through um, but I think that you could easily wear this like this time of year with some thick tights some boots and like a really chunky cardigan or obviously wear it maybe to go out with like some poi high boots or you could wear it in the summer with flats or flip flops on the flat girl so flats and then it's just got this sort of like a double like strappy back like a crisscrossy back and there's no tag on this because it did fall off in my bag um like in the box that it came in but this is actually a top shop so you do get, I mean, I don't know where that like, lounge wear is from, I've never heard of the brand, but you do get some really good branded stuff on here. Oh, right, you don't make me jump. Okay, right here if you can see her. <coughs> you're actually not on the camera there, right? Nobody can see your beautiful face. And my daughter's at her dad's today, so cookie dough will make the most of quality cuddle time. And then this dress, if I can get the straps right. So this is just a v-neck, um, like a maxi dress, comes down to about your shin and it's got stripes on it. I don't know how you can see the colours but there's like reds and pinks and oranges, yellows, blues and lilacs in there. Um, it's I would say it's probably more of a summer dress but it, the material is actually like really, it's quite heavy, it feels quite heavy and then it's just got these little knots here on the Oh, so I didn't tell you how much this dress was. This khaki dress was five pounds, and then this dress was five pounds as well. So it's got these little like um, cute little knots. So there's a bit of interest on the dress, I guess. But even though I've just said it's kind of a summer dress because it does feel quite thick, um, I would still wear this in like this time of year with some you know um, knee high boots and like a chunky cardigan over it, or even wear it as a skirt and put like a nice cute blouse over the top or a sweater or something like that. That's very American then, sweater, <laughs> like a nice like, jumper or something like that over the top. And for £5, even if you have to put it up for summer, you can't really go wrong, can you? So, um, I don't know if this tells me where this dress was from. Let's see if I 
can find out. Nope. That's how that one's done. And then the last dress I got <coughs> um, is from Wallace. So the tag fell off this, but I did manage to say the tags just aren't secured on very well. Um, this was from Wallace, but this dress was £45. So I got this for five. Um, obviously everything is on there is new, it's not like worn, it's just you know they kind of get end of stock and things like that so um, it's just got these like cute like flute, I think it's called flute sleeves so the sleeves themselves are like layered here at the bottom so there's like two little, two little bits here and this mesh the sleeves are and then the rest of it I see is it mesh, it's got a little keyhole detail at the back which is just kind of cute if you've got your hair up just to add a little something to it and it's just got this really cute um, floral pattern on it and there's butterflies like pink, black, white and then the dress itself is grey so very me because my hair is all like grey, white, black and pink so I'll go with my decor if I'm just wearing this around the head and um, I thought this is one of those dresses that you could wear like to the office or you could wear with flats and kind of just go out and about and dress it down or you could easily wear it with like knee high boots and be a little fancier you could obviously wear like chunky cardigans chunky jumpers and wear it in the winter so and it's um it's got like two layers to it so again it's that chiffon material and then like a layer underneath but it is actually really light so you could probably get away with this in like the slightly warmer weather with like flats or something so as i said i like everything that i can wear if i could only wear it in the summer i mean like bikinis and stuff i understand but almost everything because I'm a single mom and I don't really like to spend a ton of money because I've been a model for a really long time and I've met a lot of people and so I know what some things cost and like and how much they're marketed like I know a certain brand which I won't name because I don't know if you're allowed to um that sell very nice polo tops that cost about one pound something to make and they sell them for like 75 pounds plus so that's you know kind of naughty yeah, but then there's a lot of suckers out there that will buy that so i like to have things even though this was only five at i still like to have it where i can wear it more than one occasion assuming it ever gets warm enough to wear a dress again and assuming we have anywhere to go to wear them and then this is from a brand called red london so i'm not sure who they are but <coughs> come on one sec I think I actually got good to him lately. I've been putting away the Christmas decorations this morning. Yeah. I see something showing you my chin. I thought it was the light, but I actually think I've just shown glitter. Yeah. Oh, it's got a glittery tongue there, so. Right, so this is. It says it's a coat, but it feels more like a cardigan. I mean, you could wear it as a coat, I guess. So it's like a thick. I don't know what that would be. Not a fleece, but it is, it is really thick material. And it's just got a little tie here, Ooh. a little tie here, and it's quite long. So I think this would be perfect. It's got like a nice collar on it as well, so it's kind of fancy. And this was only five pounds, so I think this would be perfect to wear with a cardigan. You know, when you're wearing the house, I think it was called a duster coat, if that's right. So it's kind of cute to wear like around the house and just chuck it on, or even to wear out if you don't mind like a thick bulky coat. Because I sometimes find. If I've got Jasmine with me and I might have to carry her in my like thick teddy coat, it can be quite difficult to like balance shopping bags and I can't always get my handbag over it and then trying to carry Jasmine as well gets me really hot. So something like this would be much easier. And obviously if you're like maybe going on a date, I don't know where if you're in tier four like I am. Um but it's just one of those things that you can just chuck on and it just makes a little bit of a nicer effort, I guess, but it can still be warm. And it's like a camel colour um yeah and for five pounds you can't really go wrong can you and then the next few things i have to show you are all vegan so i'll start off with i got a couple of handbags <coughs> so these were five pounds each um this one's from a place called fashion star in london i don't know what that is but and um, it's like one of these mock croc prints i don't know how well you can see that so it is a it is a very pretty print and this was only five pounds obviously still got all the tissue in there it did come in a bag i've just taken off the plastic so there's not loads of rusting on you don't need to see it open in plastic bags oops sorry because i dropped that on you um and it's just got like cute little 
details like this which I think just add little bits to the bag and make it a bit more trendy but for five pounds you can't complain and it, it's vegan I mean I made vegan stuff when it first came out like fashion like it still can be really really expensive um but you know if you're into like your fashion bags not like Louis Vuitton and Gucci and all that stuff but you're you know going to pre-mark boohoo and buying bags from places like that definitely check single price because they have a ton of vegan bags um, satchels crossbody bags backpacks and their backpacks look like the river island backpacks um shoes all sorts so you, you can be cruelty free and still be stylish if you're going to spend like 10 or 20 pounds on a fake leather bag somewhere else then why not just make sure um that you can save money as well go to single price and unless you you know i mean i couldn't tell this was fake so yeah definitely cute and it's quite a decent size as well which you know i have to carry my stuff i have to carry jasmine stuff so and i think i've noticed it doesn't have like, like a strap to make it longer so it's more of like a, a carry bag i guess um it's kind of the size of a tote bag so i think if you were like not even using it as one of your best bags but just going to use it where you maybe keep like school books in or maybe just stuff for like the office or something i think that would be cute you could even use it as a laptop bag i guess That'd be cute because it is, even though it's not real leather, it is really like the bottom here is incredibly thick. So it would be quite protected in there. And then I got this bag, which is just plain black. It's got like a little extra zip here at the front. I mean, black just goes with everything, doesn't it? An extra zip at the back. Um, and I had a look in this one, so I did take the paper and that out. This is from a brand called, what have you, Moda um i'm not sure what that is but it has got um details on the back of just how to wipe it and um you know how to wash it not wash it all that stuff so it's quite a decent size inside and you've got just a ton of zips you've got like an extra compartment here as well so again this bag was five pounds and it's vegan leather and there's another zip inside here, so you've got tons of compartments for this. It's much bigger than it seems. It's going to be one of those Mary Poppins bags, I think. Um, I don't know how you can see the leather on it. Well, the not leather leather on it. Um, but it actually does look really nice. So, and I've had bags of this quality, like this kind of quality and that from places like Dorothy Perkins and that. But not that I've bought, but I've had bought me. And I know they're like quite expensive and they're fake too so definitely you know, if you want to be a bit more cruelty free and a bit more kind of just aware of what you're buying then definitely check out single price because they've got so many vegan things including they don't just do fashion and bags and that they also do accessories so like bracelets and things watches weirdly they also do cleaning products um and they also do beauty products so like makeup and things like that including things like um maybelline and stuff you know they've got some stuff on there that is branded um i mean some like the fashion stuff it doesn't say where it's from it just it is what it is when it gets here but they also sell perfume like mark jacobs um i think there's jimmy shoe on there and i last thought things like that and obviously you can see what brands they are they are all authentic <coughs> um so it's definitely worth having a look if you want to be a bit more kind of i said a little bit more kind of to the animals and stuff you don't don't be put off by price you can find sites like single price where they are doing their best you know to be a bit more friendly and at a, like an affordable price and another good place to look stuff like that is super drug they do a whole range of stuff that's cruelty free and um, vegan and again the prices are amazing so and then also got these sne sneakers which i'm not gonna lie are really cute i'm not really into like i mean i've got a pair of adidas trainers that i've had about 10 years i think um so i don't wear them like a whole lot and i'm quite good with like making sure they're wiped over and stuff because i don't like them to go like that creamy color um these do remind me a little bit of adidas with the stripe of course but obviously they're not these were five pounds and these came in a ton of colors so they've got you know like the stripes are all different colors they've got some there where this is a different color they've got glitter they've got ones with just it's completely decked out like so cool and they're all about five to ten pounds so this has just got like a mock and it's she one so this has got like a um mock 
crock, yeah, mock crock, like leather here again. And I think if you're just wearing these for like, I know a lot of you just wear cute stuff for your Instagram photos and stuff, like you don't want to spend a lot. And for five pounds, I think they're beautiful. So, and I've definitely had um, like running shoes and that from Primark. I don't know if they're running shoes, but I used them for like when I was gonna be a jogger. I think that's very long. Um, and they were like about twenty pounds or like I think about eighteen pounds. Um, and yeah, they're literally just a plain shoe. So I do think that these look a lot more expensive. And as I said, they're vegan. So if you're vegan, give it a go. If you're not vegan, but you're not that bothered about your it doesn't have to be a brand name, they definitely try um, stuff like this because, you know, it's cheap for a fiver and you're just being a bit more friendly, aren't you? You don't need, we don't need animal cruelty for us to look good. And then the next thing I've got, I've left them here because I'm really superstitious so I don't like to put like new trainers or shoes on the surface. I don't know, it goes back to my grandparents. <coughs> so these are just some fleece boots now. As a rule, I will not wear Ugg boots. I don't want this to be like mission of veganism down your throat or anything like that, but if you do wear Ugg boots or, you know, um, yeah, just maybe have a research and you'll see what happens when they make those boots and those shoes. And um, yeah, for the price, I don't think that they particularly look amazing and definitely not worth the cruelty that happens so do have a look i'm not going to make this channel about that i'm like i don't really it's put people off being here you know if you feel like i'm shoving things down your throat but just have a look if you wear old boots because to me these are so cute and these came in so many colors as well so they've just got a cute little bell on the back and then this like obviously it's not wool this like really soft i mean this feels like um like memory foam slippers it feels like that this feels really nice and it's obviously like a vegan suede and then like rubber bottoms so these would be fine in the snow like we've got a lot of snow here in england at the moment we've got like all the track at the bottom so these would be good for that um i have tried these on to make sure that they fit and everything weren't too tight and they're they feel like slippers they're so nice um and again they have tons of boots include like knee-high boots thigh-high boots vegan leather or vegan suede so do have a look and these are five pounds and i'm sorry i know there's some snobs out there because of my friends have subscribed to me and you know your snobs don't you you know your snobs if it doesn't have a name on it you won't wear it um but i'm sorry if i'm walking next to you and you've got your dodgy cruel ugg boots on i'm gonna look just as trendy and i wasn't cool about it so yeah, aren't you glad you're friends with me now? Um, but yes, that's everything I've got. I'm sorry I'm not going to do a try on, but as you can see, the more I'm talking, the croaker I'm getting and the more like nasally I'm getting. I just don't feel well enough to be like throwing clothes off and it's always that, then I've got to tidy up afterwards, so. And if you can hear that sound, that would be Cookie there snoring on my lap. How did you manage to fall asleep even though we're talking so much? Um, but yeah, single prices, you do have to pay for delivery, it, so far I've spent up to about, I think the biggest order I had was like £60 on there, and I still had to pay delivery, which, not gonna lie, bugs me a lot, but for some of the clothes that you get, I mean the one dress that was £45, um, everything I brought there I think came to 45 or less, so you're already saving a really good amount of money, um, and it, obviously it's all new, uh, yeah. So do check it out if you know you're on a bit of a budget and you just want to treat yourself or you're kind of bored because if we're in tier 4 we can't shop anywhere at the moment really. Uh, it's definitely one of my, probably it's up there with Primark because one of my favourite places. Obviously Primark you can go and you can see exactly like what the quality is like and all of that. But the fact that this place is really easy for me to just type in vegan and I will, so many things come up and I can afford them. Um, in fact they're cheaper than like just some kind of the cheap and some of the stuff that you would buy in Primark like I said the running shoes things like that it's definitely worth looking at they've got tons of workout stuff um two pieces and things like that for like seven pounds so if you one of your goals this year is to get fitter and obviously we can't not everywhere delivers at the moment so we're kind of struggling to go and find workout clothes but you still want to get on your goals and definitely take a look delivery takes 
uh, about five days. Obviously, there's a bit of snow here now, so it may delay it. Um, but it's not it's not super long for your delivery, and they have tons of things on there from like fake fur coats or faux fur, however you say it, um, belts. Like I said, they do cleaning products. I understand the beauty products. I'm not sure about the cleaning products. I, they just seem so random. Um, but they're really cheap, about as cheap as you'll get from Poundland. So yeah, definitely worth taking a look. And um, I'm planning to do a boohoo haul when that arrives. I only ordered it yesterday. So hopefully I'll be feeling much better and I can actually show it on properly so you can see like the fit and the length rather than me just trying to do all of this on camera. Um, so yeah, cooking into the night. So we're housebound, aren't we? But obviously, but for a COVID test, you can't really go out of your house. Not that I've been going out anyway. Um, I'm not a driver in the snow. I can't really drive very well. So I definitely don't drive in the snow. Um, but we're housebound, aren't we, you and me? So we've been watching, haven't we, Cookie, don't we? Because she likes the fighting. As soon as they start fighting, she pays attention. Don't you? So we've been watching um, Cobra Kai on Netflix. If you haven't watched it and you're a fan of like the Karate Kid or... Karate Kid, Karate Kid, I don't know, I say Karate, fan of Karate Kid or any of those sorts of shows, like a Chuck and Hoist fan or anything like that, definitely check it out, it's kind of like the sequel I guess to all the Karate Kid movies, it's like the follow on, so it's got the same people in it, but obviously they're all older now, and the same like club in it, Cobra Kai obviously, which were the bad guys in the first movie, um, but it's definitely worth watching, it's made being housebound and Having snow and all that stuff, much more exciting for us, as in Cookie Dough. She's, she's just having to deal with it. Um, but yeah, so thank you for watching. I hope everyone is staying safe and well. I hope you all had a good new year. Uh, I don't know what the rest of the world is like. It's obviously changing for everybody all the time. But here in England, we're pretty much, I think all of us are in tier four. And I know it can affect mental health a lot. Um, I have a couple of friends that... And all the most upbeat people you would ever meet and they are drastically i've seen them like decline and um it's not so easy to get gp appointments and things like that um so you know it is taking a mean come march uh, in the uk it's been pretty much a year that we've had restrictions or like you know bubbles and obviously a lot of people had christmas taken away from them this year not christmas but being able to spend it with families New Year was literally at the last minute just, I mean, we didn't even have like the big firework display, we have like Big Ben or any of that stuff, so, uh, yeah, it doesn't, I don't think 2021 is going to be as much of a difference than last year, but um, over my Instagram, I do do a lot of things about like self-love, self-care, mental health, I've had mental health issues, I still do from, from a lot of things, but also from giving birth, um, I have had depression really bad. So I've done a lot of research on it. I do use medication and meditation and all sorts of things. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram, you don't even have to follow me. If you, This is not like a fishing for follower thing. You can, my profile is public, so you can just go on, have a look. Um, most of the things I do for like positivity and stuff, there's some on my feed, but majority of it goes on my stories. So just have a little look and... Um, I've met some lovely people through just saying, you know, DM me if anyone needs a chat or a bit of advice about things. Um, so, yeah, if that's you, then you can head off over there. I don't really check my YouTube message that much. I'm still learning how to use it. Um, but you can definitely go over to my Instagram. And as I said, you don't have to follow me, but you can send me a DM if, you know, kind of restrictions and all that stuff are getting to you a little bit. I obviously have my bubble with my parents that live like literally up the road but ultimately I'm kind of on my own with this little monkey and um, my three year old so you know there's not really shoulders to lean on for me either so I'm going to see my situation and head over there hopefully some of my positivity stuff will help you or inspire you and you can always DM me if you want to and I will ramble as much as I do on camera so uh, yeah, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.